Hi, I'm Karen Wayhat. I'm doing my narrative speech on why I decided to become a medical assistant. When I was a kid, I always enjoyed taking care of people, wanting to fix their injuries, and my mom always called me the mother hen because of that. Now, to see my own blood, that was a different story. I didn't like to see myself injured or see uh, my own blood. That really flipped me out. And I didn't like the doctors. To tell you the truth, I was always frightened of the doctor's offices. So it kind of surprised me when I wanted to get into the medical field. Um, once I got out of high school, I tried to get into the medical field, but the uh, wait on the waiting list to start the uh, classes was too long. So I put it off. Um, a few uh, About five years later, I had the opportunity to join the local fire department. Uh, once I joined that department, um, became an EMT on an ambulance, that became very exciting for me. I loved not knowing what was coming next. And when we did get to a scene, not knowing how bad uh, it the situation would be, that gave us a real big adrenaline rush. Um, what satisfied me in that area was the relief that you saw on uh, the victim's faces when they saw you come through the door. Um, it was like the world was lifted. They knew somebody was there to help them. Uh, that made me feel good. And all the patients that thanked us uh, for helping them in a time of need, that really um, made me happy. And then I decided to further uh, get in, get into the career further by getting a job at uh, the ER, uh, the hospital, local hospital. And that uh, really made me want to get into it. I uh, saw everything from infants to elderly people, um, every situation that you can think of coming through the doors, um, from minor sicknesses to uh, life and death situations to where you are in a rush uh, to have to get stuff done or the person's going to die. Um, that made it very, very exciting. And knowing that you were able to do your job and save that life. Um, there were times that we couldn't save lives and that took a little getting used to. Um, sometimes hard to deal with depending on the age of the person and situation. That made me really want to further my career. Uh, it, the more I thought about it, the more I decided, yes, this is the career path I want to take. I was going to become a nurse, but that didn't work out. Uh, it was I studied what the nurses had to do and started the school, and it was just a little too much for me, uh, too much responsibility. So I decided to do it in between, be a medical assistant. Um, looked into that. That looked very, very good. Um, went to ECPI. They told me all about it and the degree. And that made me decide that that's what I wanted to do. So I signed up for the program. Uh, quit my job at the ER so I can concentrate fully on school. Um, now that I am almost finished with my degree, and in my externship, I have realized I was going to go into cardiovascular area, but that turned out to be very, very boring. I uh, thought it was going to be more exciting, but it's not. So I decided to go into family practice where I'm doing my externship, and that is almost like an ER. Uh, you get everything from kids to the elderly, uh, different sicknesses, which makes uh, your job interesting, um, not knowing. It, what's going to happen um, hopefully once I finish my externship with them they will want to hire me if not I will find another family practice to continue with I'm really excited um, knowing that I'm almost finished and that I can take my state exam and get my certification and I'm looking forward to a very long and happy career as being a medical assistant Thanks.